Welcome to the Biomedical Engineers TV. If you are watching this video first time, I encourage you to begin with the first part of this video to understand the electrical safety standards of medical equipments. In this last video, we will cover up the medical equipment type. The class of equipment defines the method of protection against electric shock. The degree of protection for medical electrical equipment is defined by the type designation. The reason for the existence of type designations is that different pieces of medical electrical equipment have different areas of application and therefore different electrical safety requirements. For example, it would not be necessary to make a particular piece of medical electrical equipment safe enough for direct cardiac connection if there is no possibility of this situation arising. Let's begin know about Type B equipments. Type B is the least stringent classification and is used for applied parts that are generally not conductive and can be immediately released from the patient. Equipment providing a particular degree of protection against electric shock, particularly regarding allowable leakage currents and reliability of the protective earth connection, if present. The next type is BF type equipments. Type BF is less stringent than CF and is generally for devices that have conductive contact with the patient or having medium or long-term contact with the patient. Type B applied parts may be connected to earth, while type BF and CF are floating and must be separated from earth. As type B, but with isolated or floating F-type applied part or parts. And the last one is the CF-type equipments. Type CF is the most stringent classification, being required for those applications where the applied part is in direct conductive contact with the heart or other applications as considered necessary. Equipment providing a higher degree of protection against electric shock than type BF, particularly with regard to allowable leakage currents and having floating applied parts. I hope you understood the electrical safety standards of medical equipment in a simple manner. I request please go through the testing process as per the electrical safety device procedure as every manufacturer has their own protocols. Thanks for watching and don't forget subscribe the channel. See you guys in next series of videos.